Hello, welcome to another video. Today we have the Ugreen 20 watt model CD241 power adapter. We can see right off the bat that this product has a universal input voltage and offers several different options for output power. All right, let's get this out of the box. It does come with a plastic wrap here, so we have to fight our way through this plastic. Plastic tray, user manual, and the actual adapter itself. It's actually a little smaller than I thought it was gonna be. So more plastic wrapping on there. So you can see, got a basic USB-C connection. Not a bad looking little adapter. It's actually very small. So for 20 watts out of this tiny package, it's really not too bad. Well, once we open it up, we do see that it has the six for efficiency class and we can see a TUV safety listing here. So it does have some, some ratings. All right, let's take a look at the user manual. Can you tell you what's in the box? The user manual and the adapter. What a surprise. And then on the other side, we do have the specifications. So it does tell you what it can do, which is nice. Some of these do not include that. Let's go ahead and get the product weights. The adapter weighs 35 grams. The packaging and all the plastic bits weigh 21 grams. Okay, let's plug it in and take a look at the idle power consumption. So we aren't looking too bad right here. Just a few tenths of a watt, that's a nice number. Take a look at our harmonic distortion. We're in the 200% range. That's pretty typical for a no load for this type of adapter. Let's go ahead and plug in the tiny load here. See that drops down a little bit. That's pretty normal also. Let's see our power consumption came up a little bit to match this. So that's looking good so far. Very typical power factor. Nothing out of the ordinary at all so far. Let's put it under some load and see how it does. So we have our USB tester here and we can go ahead and switch through some modes and see what it'll do. So it does a nine volt mode. We have a 12 volt mode. We have a variable mode, second variable mode, and then back to the five volt mode. When we look at the box on this, we can see that for five volts, they say up to three amps, nine volts, 2.22 amps. 12 volts, 1.67 amps, and then they have the variable modes, which are, you know, gonna basically fluctuate around. To get the most power out, we have to go to the nine volt or the 12 volt mode. I'm gonna set the power to five watts just to start. So yeah, handling five watts, no problem. Let's take it up to 10 watts, no issue. 15, 15 watts seems fine. That or change ranges there. 20 watts, so this is the max rated for this device. Seems okay. THD, I'm gonna guess is 100%. Yeah, pretty typical. So let's take it up to overload, see what it'll do. See 21 watts. 22, 23, 24, and it's off. And it does recover, it recovers back to the five volt mode. So I've got about 23 watts out of it. So continuously, 20 watts, certainly safe. So one of the things I wanted to show with this unit is they say 500 milliamps max on the packaging and the peak current that it actually uses is substantially higher than that. So this is peak current, not peak to peak current, and it's about twice what the rating is. So I don't know what they're, where they're getting this 500 milliamps max from, but it's not right. It's closer to one amp if they are actually talking about max. Now the RMS current is very low, but the peak current is very high because again, this is a uh, switching power supply, so it, it, it's got a capacitor on the inlet, so it's got a big spike. So the peak current is always gonna be much higher than the RMS current. But yeah, almost an amp uh, for that peak number, so it's definitely a little different than its rating. When we take a look at the overall numbers for this unit, the average power quality score is 90. That's, that's uh, actually the best power adapter so far. Uh, the efficiency, Hits about 88% and kind of stays in that range for 50% and up, so very good. At 10%, it's already 85%, so definitely very good on the efficiency. The major drawback to this unit is the, the power factor is still very poor, but again, it's non-power factor corrected device. And the THD is very high because of that odd shaped waveform that we really can't do anything about. And that's very common of all of these adapters. So it's not just this adapter, it's many of these adapters follow that same uh, downfall, pitfall, whatever you want to call it. When we compare this to the other devices, we see that the idle power consumption is very good. The power quality at idle is not good. So it is a zero there. So this thing sits on the bottom line, but the actual power consumption is very low at that point. But this device does shine when it's under load. So under load, this thing hits, you know, into the 90s all the way up to 101 peak. So at idle, this thing is, you know, it's, it's very low power consumption, but it's not very clean power. So maybe not the best device to leave plugged in all the time. When it comes to the overall power quality score, it's got a value of 90, which is actually putting it at the top of the USB power adapters. So really quite good. So this is a great adapter to plug in, use it, and then unplug it. That's the best use case for this adapter. So 
plug it in, charger device, and then unplug it. Overall, this little Ugreen adapter is not too bad. If you need a solid little 20 watt adapter to charge your devices, this is this is not a bad choice. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more of these power adapter videos. There's going to be a whole bunch of them coming out. I've had a few requests for some power adapter videos and the this guy's going to be next. Just for a little preview. It's the uh, Anchor Nano Pro. All right, bye.